Hey everyone, Tom the PT Gamer Guy here, coming at you with a special video on Eden's upcoming update, January 20th, with a special focus on fishing. We got a lot to cover, so we'll hop right into it. The first big thing that's being released in this update is the uh, Pirates and Brigands chart quests. These have a fishing focus where you have to turn in uh, Marlins to Zaldan in Selbina for a quest for a chance to get these items that will trigger quests in Valkyrm Dunes and Buberimu Peninsula. The Brigands chart quest is the one that is in Buberimu Peninsula where you fish up different treasure chests for an option to get the Penguin's Ring. There are additional items such as uh, I believe Dynamis Currency and Mithril Sword that you can get. Um, I think there's even some furnishings for your Mog House. This is a quest where you have a time limit to fish up so many chests where towards the end you have a chance at getting the penguin's ring. You can have a party with you. You yourself will get level sync to 20. Your party members do not. So if you fish up any monsters, your party can kill those monsters for you. The pirate's chart quest in Valkyrm's Dune is where you will trade a pirate's chart to the question mark here and you will eventually spawn three notorious monsters. You have a certain time limit to fish up what's called snares. These snares will prevent these NMs from using hundred fists. I believe you can have a party of three, all level capped at 20. There are different conditions where you will fail this quest, um, such as a person that traded the item leaves the zone. If you invite a party member after you've started the quest, if any of the monsters are left to roam, or if any of the monsters despawn, if you leave the area, or if nobody's in proper range of the monsters when they spawn. If you successfully defeat all three of these NMs, a chest will pop at the end. You will get an albatross ring guaranteed, but then you also have a chance at other items, with the big item being the Mercurial Chris multi-hit dagger. This is the mini Kraken Club dagger that everybody's going to be going after with this update. But with this update, all fishable monsters have been added, and bite rates have been adjusted accordingly to account for this. This includes members of the Oribon family, in particular the notorious monsters Northern and Southern Piranu, and I believe a regular monster just named um, Guguru Oribon. These have a chance to drop Oribon lures, and the NMs have a chance to drop the Perry and Katanas, and also the Charisma Feet. can't recall the name, but you'll see it on screen here. You have to break their lures to get the lure drops. That's what's used to craft strobes. At this time, however, there is no uh, notorious monsters on the ship, such as Proteus and Almighty Apkalu. However, there are random monsters that now will spawn on the boats to Ottergon and Nashmao. Another change with fishing that has taken place is hook delay. Prior to this update, it would take approximately 13 seconds to hook a fish. Now with this update, there's many things that factor into reducing that time. For example, new moon and full moon. Those will reduce the amount of time. Um, the game hours, if you're fishing between... Um, if you're fishing around 5 in the morning game time or 17 at the evening game time or if you equip a fisherman's belt you don't have to use the belt just equip it um, so you can reduce your time significantly for example if you're fishing under a new moon you will have a four second re uh, reduction in your time if you're fishing around 5 or 1700 hours you will get an additional second if you have a fisherman's belt on it's another second so if you do some math you can reduce your time to hook a fish by six seconds over the long haul, that is huge for fishermen to increase your gill per hour while fishing. In addition, bite rates across the board have been adjusted. Um, so it's accounting for moon phases, day, um, even month of the year is affecting the bite rates of fish now after this update. Fish bite rates in town will be slightly reduced and items will be slightly increased just to increase retail accuracy. In addition, the range for receiving not enough skill has been shortened from 10 levels to 7 to match retail. The effect of not enough skill has also been increased, meaning that fishing gear will become even more important to catch optimal uh, fish for skill ups. Also they've implemented fishing pools, meaning that each fishable area that you see on Great Blue is a great website, we'll link that in the uh, comments below, um, has its own independent quantity pool. The pools have a maximum amount of fish that can be caught in one game day. Every game day it changes and it restocks the pool by a percentage of the max size. The values are based off of NPC sell price and fish popularity. Just keep in mind basically with this that there's more than one area you can catch a fish. That way you can't just camp one spot and fish till you're done. You gotta move yourself around a little bit if you wanna keep those fishing pools up. The amount of fish per pool um, is same across the board. These may be adjusted in the future depending on community feedback, so please 
let everybody know how your experience is with these fishing pools. Vendor prices have also been made to 100% um, match era values. Therefore, some fish prices have gone up and some have gone down. So just consider that when NPCing your fish. Last thing with fishing, fishing rods and the changes to durability. Rods now use some sort of a ranking system with a minimum and maximum rank. And each fish has a ranking that will determine if a rod is even able to catch it or not. In addition to this, as your skill level approaches the uh, level cap of a fish or goes above it, you get a bonus rank to durability. For example, a willow rod could um, potentially break at level 0 trying to catch a carp. However, if you get to skill level 10 or 11, virtually no chance that it will break on the carps. Also, the size penalty has been increased. So using a large rod on small fish will have more of a dramatic effect on losing the fish due to being too small. Adding to rod breaks even further is the use of lures. Prior to the update, you could just use lures over bait and not really see any negative effect. At this time, lures will now increase break rate if your durability and skill level is lower than the fish cap. This penalty does not apply to live bait. Therefore, fishermen are encouraged to use live bait over lures now after this update. That's it for this fishing update as of right now. It goes live Monday, January the 20th. So get out there, start fishing up those marlin, get those quests going. Hopefully you'll be the first one to get a Mercurial Chris on the Eden server. Good luck with that. I am Tom the PT Gamer Guy. It's been a privilege to make this video for Eden and give back to uh, the server that has allowed me to play freely and relive retail era days. If you're not on the server, EdenFFXI.com will get you there. I myself, I am streaming Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday evenings from 9 p.m. onward. Look forward to see you there. If this has been helpful to you, you've enjoyed the content, click a like, subscribe below, head on over to Twitch, hit me up with a follow over there. We look forward to seeing you there. Good luck, everyone.